All right, we'll put them back on the... He's looking for a battery. We have one literally the whole time. The whole time. But he's stubborn, so he's in the van. Look at this. Do you see this? Do you see this? I have one of those too. <laughs> this battery thing is a real situation, guys. Hi. All right. Hi, Brock. How's it going? What? He's still looking for a battery. Would you like to try the blue one? Oh, that it does looks work. Like yeah, it? Okay, so we're back at Thor's Well, camped for the night. We wanted to take Brock here so he can get some cool footage. And he's making us dinner tonight. Something with sausages. Oh, apparently he burnt it a little bit. The batteries weren't that serious. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. <sighs> Hi Tyson, are you trying to make your debut? <laughs> no. Oh yeah, you have a lot to say? Yeah? So we ended up back in Newport and where um, we stayed at Mulock Beach again. This time a friend joined us. You may have seen him on my channel before or maybe on my Instagram. It's Aussie Van Man! Sandwich and squares! <laughs> really cute. Yeah. So we have a new travel companion now. Aussie Van Man just joined us. It's and uh, yeah, he made, he's made, what is this? Grilled chicken or grilled cheese with chicken. Apparently it's like spicy chicken. So. Ooh. <laughs> and he cut it up in little squares for us. <laughs> We've been hanging out on the coast. We decided to skip Descend on Ben because the weather reported that it was going to be really, really high. And um, I think for the most part, we're gonna stay along the coast, go adventuring some more around here. This morning, things started off on the right foot because um, our friend made us grilled cheese for breakfast, which, uh, I always like grilled cheese in the morning. Why are you doing that? You gonna itch? All right. I think you need a bath too. We got in late last night and I was able to catch the most beautiful sunset. Um, you know, when the sky turns kind of like, <laughs> Bunny calls it cotton candy clouds, where it's uh, a little bit like pinkish and purple and it just looks like cotton candy in the sky. Yeah. Oh my God, how amazing. It sounds like they're fighting. <laughs>
Look, it's a Brock. Brock has joined us on our most epic summer adventures. Tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Brock. Uh, I met these women while I was hitchhiking to Oregon and uh, they won't let me go now. <laughs> this is Hi. our first time at the Oregon Coast Aquarium. Yeah. We are excited. So excited. excited. And don't forget we have to do our dance. Ooh, ooh. Actually, it's mostly my dance. I want dance, to but... see the otters. <laughs> <laughs> so funny story, we're at the aquarium and my friends are taking a video of the squirrel at the aquarium. Weird, maybe. Interesting. Definitely. And then, yeah. And then, and then, and then, and then, yeah. Oh, I feel like I'm jazzercising. I might be going crazy. Don't know what to do. My heart is screaming for you, babe. What I'm trying to say is that you make the sky look blue Even when it is gray, babe Every time I'm feeling down You can make it go away Your light is shining bright on me Got no reason to be afraid You're glowing in the dark You're glowing in the dark Glowing in the dark I feel it in my heart you're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark, yeah, you're glowing in the dark. Can't stop looking at you, you're like a firefly. Guide me out of the woods now. Oh, I think I lost my way, but got you to help me back. Tell me what I should do now Every time I'm feeling down You can make it go away Your light is shining bright on me Got no reason to be afraid You're glowing in the dark You're glowing in the dark Glowing in the dark I feel it in my heart you're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark, yeah, you're glowing in the dark. Oh my goodness, I'm surrounded by tentacles. <laughs> oh. Buddy. Let's do it. Think you can beat my time? I'm try it. All right. Okay. Recognize him? It's Sheldon Cooper. Your 
No matter who you are or wherever you go in life, there will be people you stumble across on your journey who will mean more to you than you ever expected them to. You may not live in the same city or state or even country, but there are some people in life who you will form an unbreakable bond with no matter where life takes you. If you're lucky, once in a while, you'll find yourselves together again, laughing and hugging and sharing memories. Catching up with each other feels like you've never left. For me, the greatest gift of life is friendship, and I have definitely received it. I am so lucky to have formed so many deep connections within the van life community, and even luckier that I have the opportunity to travel with them and go on so many adventures together. Anything is possible when you have the right people there to support you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time. Thank you.